Right, so you've got your new aero bike, your skin suits on, aero helmet, deep section wheels, the whole, th the whole bit, and you're off to do your TT or race, thinking that you've got your best aero setup possible. But there may be one small factor that you've possibly overlooked, and that is your tire to wheel interface. Now, if you look at the tire and how it interacts with the wheel, there will always be a bit of a, a trough where the tire meets the wheel. Now, as the air hits the front of the, the tire, um, what you want it to do is stay attached to this whole surface as long as possible and not become turbulent. But what happens is, is as the air comes over the tire, it finds nothing there and creates little eddies and turbulence as it goes over the rim and the effect of your deep rim is lessened because of this trough here. Now, this is a well-known uh, phenomenon because Mavic uh, recently uh, released the CX-01 blades which you just pop in between the wheel and the tyre and they smooth out this interface and create one smooth surface for the air to, to, uh, to pass over. Now, if you don't fancy buying a full Mavic wheel and tyre setup and you want to do it on the cheap, this is the way to do it. So, all you need is Silicon gun, clear silicon. Uh, I nearly always have one of these on the go, so it's uh, it's not really going to cost me anything. And you just basically start to apply a thin bead in between the two, and just keep a nice, smooth, steady. Speed doesn't matter too much at this point if you if you miss some bits or it's a bit uneven, you can sort that out later. But the more even you can get it at this stage, the better. And it, it's just a thin bead to fill up this gap. I'm not doing a very good job of it at the moment, but uh, yeah, So once you've got your initial bead in, you can just use a damp finger to just smooth it over slightly just so you smooth over any holes or peaks. And then what I do is I just take a bit of cardboard like this, just a bit of packaging, and um, just apply it, push it firmly against the brake track, and rotate the wheel. And the cardboard wheel scrape any silicon off the brake track and give you a nice smooth finish. And that's pretty much it. You can kind of go over it again, just get it a bit better quality. Um, but that's pretty much it. And, uh, takes what a couple of minutes costs 1p and you will definitely be saving something i can't tell you exactly how much but it's not zero it's not 10 watts either but uh pick a figure in between